Ah, uh, Saturday. Um, this is Agape. It's a little cute coin coffee shop in our town of you tonight and we're gonna go pitch my friend now normally I'm used to my videos starting a certain way with me lying in bed but i thought i'd switch it up i did wake up at 4 a.m that morning and i got ready because this is two of my friends and i who are about to get ready for my other friends but they get away here they are anyway this is the inside of a car but it's really cute here you should pay it a visit if you are in our town ever no one really comes to you tonight. Anyway, um, so we are on our way to the mall. And I love sitting in the back seat. It makes me feel so glamorous. Oh my god. I don't normally take Ubers because I'm always driving my fucking self around. So sitting in the back seat for me is a luxury. So this is a mall, checkers. Oof, this place. Anyways, so we've been getting our groceries. And this is Dylan. He will be. Um, Okay, as you can see, he's very good at posing, but he's not that great at taking videos. Some of the videos in this vlog are taken by him, and, you know, all of his posing doesn't do it justice. Ha ah, Heaven on earth. So, of course, you need to get out drinks. We're going to be away for two days. And, um, yeah, this is the butchery where I normally buy my meat. It's called Meat Master. It's a la butcher, and oh, Dylan's showing us his assets. Um, this is a... Yeah, the cuts are really good and the meat is really, really, really good. So I prefer La Butchers because of the quality of the meat. So here's Dan's party. She's about to drop me at home. Um, that's Lolly. That's my other friend. And yeah, I got home and uh, my grandmother made some burgers. She put basting sauce in while she made it. And I'm going to have one of these and like some mushrooms. So um, yeah, sorry for the steal. I'm about to use a spatula. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, this is a lunch I had on Saturday. And I spend most of my Saturday alone. Yeah, you know how strong you must be to lift a pan like that? You <laughs> guys, don't play with me, please. Um, so I had my nice lunch after going shopping with the guys. And, yeah. So, for the rest of the afternoon... Um, I keep the washing baskets stacked inside of each other for this purpose um, so that I can separate my my dark colors from the light ones while the washing is in my room. Um, it does do a lot of time saving for me and it just makes it easy for me to wash my washing. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, covering my bed so that I can come home after the trip to a clean room. So... Um, Normally, I just already um, fold my washing off immediately when it comes from the line. So, the bedding, I normally fold it. Can you see there's a nice cute pile? Fold it up nice and put it away. Um, yeah. This is Sunday morning. Um, I didn't finish my room cleaning because I just left my room, left my bed. And I slept in another room. Um, so... I'm finishing this off. This is about 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, my friends, we are about to meet up later that day to go away. Um, so I'm cleaning my room like proper, proper. And yeah, there's my bedding. Um, just to show you that I always do it, there's another one that I just cut out of the cupboard, spontaneously so. So um, I don't iron my bedding because it thins out the sheets, you know, like I like my stuff should last long and i only have two sets of bedding anyways because shit is expensive but also i don't this is my room that i have in my granny's house i don't have space i don't like clutter so if there's no space or something i don't have it in my room um so yeah i'll never buy things there's no space for <laughs> pardon um obviously powder and whatnot oh the other thing i wanted to say is i store my bedding like inside out can you see this cover yeah it's inside out so it makes it easy for me to cover the bed so i just take the corners of the inner and i just put it through that way i don't know if everyone does it this way but i've been doing it the hard way my whole life so this is just easy for me and um because the inner is so heavy um i don't really like to work with it that much yeah so i'm very proud of myself for being this clever um my my ex just like make my life really easier and yeah so covering my bed um, i love the reverse 
reversible uh, duvets at the price home because obviously two in one it's just really pricey but pardon lay buys are available and yeah it's a good buy i never regret uh buying good bedding so yeah so i'm just gonna soak my white no not so good yet when i this is on sunday right so when i come back and in case the weather is good i'll I'll do my washing so anyways this is us on our way from PE we got a edible cake for my friend from plain wings I'll put the I'll put the um, details in the description so plain wings yeah we bought some wings and we um, and I asked um, one of the partners of plain wings to make a cake specially for her and they did an amazing job oh my word it was so tasty <laughs> delicious so um, so Dylan is taking, you see like he would take videos of everything that's irrelevant. You know how many cows we pass at this point? Not a single cow is featuring in this video. Uh, yeah. And my windscreen is a bit, you know, dodge. So the place that we went to is called Howard's View. It's about 20 minutes outside of Utenaik. Very beautiful scenery. Um, you take a long gravel road to get there, and like you are in the mountains, literally. I found the place on Airbnb. Um, I'm busy coaching Dylan to tell him, look at what shit he is recording, and look what he could have been recording. You know, um, yeah. Either way, so I found the place on Airbnb, my friend and I, and we decided, you know what, this is where we want to be. Um, there are spiders, though. I mean, we are in the mountains, so. Yeah, luckily I just saw that on the, not even see, heard about it on the last day there. Um, it is perfect. Like, there's no one, there's there's nothing, there's, there's just silence. There's, <laughs> there's just um, fresh air and shit. It's a nice setup. There, and those are so, so kind. There are four beautiful doggos on this premises. I think there's five um but i didn't meet them the weather was quite lousy and we didn't really leave the space so yeah um where the go breezy so at this time it was just dylan and i in the space we were sitting up i cooked some chicken lovers first with some bread and yeah we were still waiting for my other two friends to arrive and a little baba but I didn't really feature in her uh, in this because she's a baby and I do not want to expose her to the internet just yet, I guess. Anyways, yeah, this is the rooms. It's two bedrooms and each bedroom has its own bathroom. Um, by the way, this place is 420 friendly, very, very friendly. Um, but you'll see more of that later on in the video. So this is us taking a cheers with obviously black label. There's nothing else that you cheers with. I don't know what, what champagne is. Um, and yeah, this is a birthday girl, Kristen. She's one of my friends as well. And um, we uh, were just relaxing from the time we got there. Um, the weather was still playing along at the time. And Dylan always posing, you know, always keeping it real. Always <laughs> um and yes yeah um we didn't have much to do we couldn't do much either way and yeah this is how this is how friendly 420 friendly the place actually is can you see like these are beautiful strains over here that always gave us a tour of his little garden and explain more or less about every single strain to us um, if you do see us looking glassy eyed throughout this video, you know why. Um, however, yeah, so this was on Monday morning. This was the day of my friend's birthday, and we were just lazing around. It was pouring outside, like 90% rain, and the weather was perfect just for doing nothing, and that's exactly what we did. We watched some Netflix. This is some of the chow mein and chicken we were eating from the night before for breakfast and yeah this is us just preparing for brunch um that we yeah that we're gonna have the birthday brunch that we had 
it was very delicious it was nice just to spend some time with you know with each other we haven't seen each other in a long time and this was a good good meeting point um yeah so the brunch we just had like you know what fruit normal breakfast things nice bread flapjacks shampoo and there's a nice cake okay we had half of it already it was so delicious oh my god and yeah so okay the, the edible cake <laughs> critical and we put the cr in critical for us because um we were calm as shit the whole time my eyes couldn't really open most of the time um but yeah high functioning so yeah this is dylan doing some i don't know what what do i call it special effects obviously you know what's going on is it or maybe you don't but um we just we sat and ate brunch for hours we actually just could can you see my eyes are just not okay not okay um and then later that night Kristen and, and lolly bride um i didn't take a video of that because i was sitting inside because it was raining and i was chilling with the baby and watching tv um so the meat amazing amazing um this is this is monday and tuesday morning this is before we left it's the last view of the place beautiful i would like recommend you to pay a visit it is oh, uh, oh so amazing this is on the trip back home um we're on a gravel road and i was driving obviously very slowly i didn't oh this past two days you know i wasn't feeling too great i thought i was being a but actually sorry um yeah i found out i went to the doctor yesterday and I found out I'm a bit sick and I just thought I had a lousy feeling and now I'm put to the challenge of racing and I don't really want to but I don't have a choice so sky is beautiful this is on our way back home to you tonight as you can see it's not really far out um if you are familiar with this road you know uh, more or less where that is it's close to lady slipper or slipper fields or, or ugh, i don't know but yeah um a nice escape without you know the long ride back home oh my word if there's anything that like irks me is having to drive back home for hours after a trip um that's just to cuss about 30 minutes because of um because of the gravel road yeah so entering here today, we all just went to our separate houses and went to sleep. <laughs> and yeah, for the rest of the time, for the rest of the day on Tuesday, I was just laying in bed. Um, and yesterday was Wednesday, and I went to the doctor and found out hey, something is really wrong. But I I've been recovering from that. So yeah, I'm not able to exercise really. I woke up at four this morning. Uh, I woke up at four yesterday morning, but <laughs> in vain, because what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so either way, I'm I'm just going to be relaxing these next few days. Not relaxing, more like recovering and getting my shit together. Um, in bed, you know, make my lusts not feel angry at myself for not being able to do what I set out to do and um, yeah that's also part of improvement actually because oftentimes a person would just you know rush your recovery feel like oh why didn't I pick this up earlier and uh, well I picked it up while I when I picked it up so yeah anyway I hope all of you enjoyed this very fast short um not really detailed um depiction of these past few days um really had fun really looked forward to it and it was worth all of it um 
I'll link the plane wings and I think my AMV link in the description. Um, yeah, and I hope that you do 